Salutations esteemed gamers and welcome back to another episode of Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection. I'm Gentleman's Gaming and today we will be doing the Beach Resort Zoo scenario which is the next of our intermediate scenarios. I don't know why I keep saying scenario because I said I was going to stop that. But the story behind our scenario is as follows. A wealthy hotel tycoon has started a new beach resort in the Bahamas. He has decided to build a zoo near his hotel as an attraction to guests. He has put you in charge of selecting the animals for this zoo and making the zoo a success. He has set aside a large plot of land with many varied terrain types that he insists would be adequate for a wide variety of animals. He only asks that you choose a diverse selection of animals from across the globe. So, our objectives for this scenario are... We have 12 months to achieve a zoo rating of 80, achieve an average animal happiness rating of 90, earn an exhibit suitability rating of at least 80 for 7 exhibits, exhibit at least 2 animals from the Arctic, at least two, exhibit at least 2 animals from Australia, exhibit at least 2 animals from South and North America, exhibit at least 2 animals from Southeast Asia, exhibit at least 2 animals from the desert in North Africa, and exhibit at least five animals from the savanna in Africa. So quite the large amount on that last exhibit. But without wasting too much time, let's go ahead and jump into our scenario. We start with $50,000. And it looks like a rather... Let me zoom out real quick. A <coughs> rather small area. It's not a huge, huge plot of land to work with. Um, you know, I really don't see this guy's hotel he was talking about. I just see a couple of office towers. So I think we've been lied to. This is not a uh, hotel. But anyways, um, we only have 50000 to start with. So we need to be careful about how much we spend out. And um, I think it's probably going to be best to start with um, smaller exhibits, at least to begin with. Um, let's see here. Uh, I think, can we get by, okay, we could delete some of that. My, my darn mouse changes every time I hover over my, um, do hit recording doohickey, the little, um, window that tells me how much time I've been going. Every time I hit that, it changes the mouse, and I really wish it would quit that. There we go. There's our little... There's a snowman in there. <laughs> it's a, a little hidden thing, I guess. Okay, that netted us about another $4,300. That's a good, good starting amount. Let's see. This is going... To make things a little difficult here. Okay, I'm thinking we're going to have to kind of pick just different areas to do things. And see either that or we're going to have to um, dig through some of these areas, which I'd prefer not to do. I know that um, part of the scenario guide says something about island scenarios in the future where you're going to have to mess with that stuff. And by the sound of it, it doesn't sound fun. So I'd prefer not to do that if I can help it. Okay, there's that. Do that real quick. Okay, whoops. Extend that just a little more. Alright, we need... I think the dromedary camel ought to be good. Just for the first one. So let's see here. Where would the best spot be for this? Probably down here somewhere. put four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I 
really do not like this zoo's layout, just on the sheer fact that, you know, there's a one big island in the middle, and then everything else. I do not like it. So what I'm thinking, if we can do this, is um, we'll go ahead and plan the zoo out kind of like this, and then as time goes on, we'll kind of um, funnel everything back into one spot so we don't have to worry too horribly much about it. So, ooh, actually, why didn't I think of this before? This would be a much better plan. And doing it that other way. Sometimes I disappoint myself with my planning skills, guys. Okay. So we can do that. Then we can get rid of this. And there. Okay. Let's see. Three there. Three there. that. I'm going to try my best not to decorate too much. I don't want to go too overboard on it right now with us only having so much money to work with. Okay. One more there. Um, I always forget how many they want. Or a uh, quiver tree. One there. Let's see, camels always want a stable. Turn that around that way. And. I'm going to stop there for now, just so we can put them in and see how they react to it. Okay, one zookeeper. Ooh, actually, got an idea. Put the gate there instead. Too much sand. Nope. Any rocks. Alright, are we meeting it so far? Average animal happiness of 90. Alright, good so far. That cost very little money, actually. I'm surprised. I am very surprised at that. Let's see. Put my little rope fences back here, real quick. Oops, let's undo that. Nope, can't do that one. Okay, we leave that one alone. Um, we can do, let's see, another small exhibit. We need, what was it, something from Australia, I think? Arctic, we do need Australia. And the only one I know of is, where, there it is, Red Kangaroos Australia. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. E. Okay, can I do that? Oh yeah, I can get away with that. That works. That works nicely. Okay, 
Now this one's going to cost a little more because I'm going to have to change terrains on it. Okay, too much savanna, not enough sand, not enough dirt. Camels gave birth already. It was fast. Shelters. Uh, this one? This one. There we go. More rocks, more foliage. Um, where was that? Red. Hard Quandong. Hard Quandong. Weird name for a tree. Not gonna work. Okay, they're they're not having any more. Okay, eighty-seven. Okay, we do not have a zoo rating of eighty yet, but we are very close, actually. It's a lot closer than I figured we'd be starting out. Right. I ah, forget it. Wait. Wrong spot. Right there. That's where I want it. I'll do that. Alright. Now hopefully the fun part of this is we will not need maintenance people to take care of things hopefully that is the hope anyways so actually let's put a couple palm trees there a couple palm trees there there we go looks nice all right we need a photo booth actually well nah, maybe not that maybe not that at least not yet let's do a gift shop can a gift shop fit in here not yet it's very close though we'll just squeeze that right there <coughs> excuse me gosh There we go. Some nice landscaping. And we have our zoo rating of 80 now. Also working out nicely. Alright, what else? Ow. That hurt. Okay, we have... 35,000 and we need to figure out what to do next. I'm going to 
raise my price again before I forget. Leave it at 29 for the moment. And we've already got people getting hungry and thirsty. Okay, we need a restaurant. Oof. This is getting kind of difficult with placement here. Really hoping I don't need a whole lot of space for this. Oof. Okay. We got a restaurant in. Hopefully that will start making us some money. Okay. Are we doing anything on donations? A little bit. A little bit. And yeah, that's in the negative right now. But the restaurant's making money, so that's good. That's always good. Oh, we're in February already. Shoot. Didn't even notice that. Did not even notice that. Okay. I'm going to have to stop playing these on pause because I, tr I can get through about six months and a half an hour, and then I pause it. And then next thing I know, I'm 20 minutes in, and it's only the second or third month. So I have got to quit doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna rack up my video time way too fast. Okay, we have kangaroos giving birth. Everything giving birth all at one time. Okay. Too much poo in this exhibit. There's only like three piles. Whoops. I didn't want to pick you up. Looks overjoyed. They're not very happy, but they are overjoyed. Apparently. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that was there. Huh. I wonder if they just designed all kinds of these little small things like this. I mean, what? There was a. Snowman there, that hidden there. There's all kinds of cool little things. Anything else hidden that I don't know about? Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, poo poo. Do some selective deforestation here. Um. nothing there I can get rid of. This, this may wind up being one of those ones where I just have to bulldoze everything to have the money for it. It's about the only thing I can come up with. Okay. Mm, excuse me. Wait till... March before I try to pause again and see what we can come up with. Why are we still in the negative? No, no, we're in the positive for this month. I take that back. Say in the hole 14, we're over 6,000 right now. I don't know 
know why I keep decorating. I keep doing that. Need to stop. Concessions, show, recycling. Oh, that's um, compost building. That's something I need. I need to hide one of these here somewhere. Let's do it right there. And sooner or later, that will generate a little more money. Yeah. Gamble's still, still too much poo. Where's the zookeeper? Yo, where are you at? Get over here and rake poo. What do you think we pay you for? Pay you to rake camel poop. Obviously. For anyone that happens to watch that lives in Indiana, hopefully you guys survived Snowmageddon 2019. That was certainly a lot of fun to deal with. Had to drive. I was at work um, the night that happened. Was probably maybe 15, 20 minutes before we're, we're, we have a thing where we're, we're supposed to close and leave at 9.30, but... If we're done at 9, when our department closes, then technically we can leave early. So we were we were almost done, because it had been slow all night, so we started shutting some of our stuff down early. Um, it was probably 15, 20 minutes before we could actually, you know, clock out and leave early, because everything was done. It is March now, I need to pause. And, um, you know, got ready to leave, or we're getting ready, and... Uh, one of the girls from up front was came back to our department, and there was two or three other, um, I think, floor associates just kind of wandering around, you know, talking. And uh, I was, told us there was a travel ban out because of how bad the weather had gotten. So I was like, you know, oh, okay, um, thanks, thanks for letting us know that. Any of us that, you know, have to um, commute to work in town because we live rurally, you know, I live... Um, we're, we're in a small town, but it's, it's basically rural. It's a 10, 15 minute drive to any town around us. So I had to drive home in that. That was, um, uh, quite a lot of fun. I lost track of how many times I literally could not see the road from a foot in front of my car with the headlights on. So that was, um, definitely fun trying to drive home. Nine o'clock at night, all if not white out, almost white out conditions, and you know the the road was completely drifted. You could not see anything, and it used to. I don't think it used to be that bad because um, a lot of the farmers in our area had fences along the highway between uh, where I live at and where I work. So you know the the fences would help catch a lot of it when it would try to drift across the road. Well, for some reason, they all decided to take their fences down within, I, I don't know when it was, because that's how observant I am with other people's fences, but within the last five years, and, you know, it, it just blows across the road and drifts and everything, and you, you can't see anything. I mean, I, I couldn't see lines, I couldn't see, um, uh, what's the word, reflectors, and if, if it wasn't for just, you know, a, a tree or a road sign or something, or a passing car, I wouldn't be able to tell what side of the road I was on. That's how bad it was. I mean, there were several times where I would catch a little glimpse of the line and, you know, figure out, you know, oh, shoot, I'm in the oncoming lane. It's a good thing there's no cars right now, or I'd be getting, you know, hit head on. That, that would be nice to try to explain. So, there was that. Um... We need to figure out what animal to do next before I ramble on too long. Um, I'm going to try zebras. Zebras should be all right. Let's see. We can put that. Yeah, they should fit down here nicely. Let's see. Oh, I can cheat right here too with this. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
three, four, five, three, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops. Whoopsies. I hate it when I do that. Okay, there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, five, six. Let's do the plain zebra. Okay. And this should. Um, knock out some of the cost of this. At least I hope. Okay. Oops. Darn it. Hate it when they don't line up. This is going to be such a pain in the butt. <laughs> They're close enough, I guess. That'll, that'll work. It will work. We'll, we'll make do with it. Let's see. Let's see. There's a slope. There's an edge. Right there. Oh, yeah, halfway know where I'm going when I come back with that. Um, plain zebra. How many will this hold? Four adults. Um, let's see. Too much savanna, none of fresh water. Okay, we need some fresh water. Too much. Really? That's it? Nothing else? Okay, do you guys like those? They do like those. Let's say. Let's say they like tall grass. These animals, man, they are finicky. Okay. But they're not unhappy. They're quite happy with it. Zebras. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna question it. Wait, did I? Oh, that was why I went over a line. There. Going down, I think. Let's not do that. Okay, now we can put in rocks. Nope. Okay, that did not cost very much at all. See, and that takes care of our zebra friends. Ow. Oh, I was not trying to slam my pen down. That was my bad, guys. Uh, ow, ow, ow. <clears throat> now, hopefully, what will happen is the zebras will give birth, which will give us a fifth one, and then I won't have to adopt 
an extra one on top of that. It'll just live here with them. That is my game plan, at least. No, you're... No, what are you doing? Stay here. You are in charge of this one, not that one. Uh, mm, excuse me. Ugh. Okay. So you just do a little bit of decorating again. Actually, do that. A little bit more. All right, I'm going to have to call this one an episode fairly soon. I'm getting up there in my recording time. I need to start making them shorter because they're taking... You know, well, w almost two hours to finally get them uploaded. And they don't normally do that. So I am doing something wrong if it's taking me almost three hours to upload a video. So, uh, where's my little shelter things? All right. Well, we've got 34,000 left over. Um... I think that's probably a good place to stop. Um, oh, yeah, the kangaroos gave birth. I forgot about that. All right. I will go ahead and save it here for now. What was this one? The Beach Resort Zoo. Beach Resort Zoo scenario. All right. You guys probably won't see any of that because that'll just pop up as a little Windows box. But anyways... Um, I'll call it quits for there. Um, I'll probably let it run for a month or two, uh, generate some money, maybe um, build one more exhibit off camera. I may, I may not. just depends. Um, I'll try to figure out which one's the most expensive one to do, which will probably be the polar bear because there's almost no snow on this map at all. Like, that's it right there. So... Uh, we will see how things go, but for the moment, I think we are um, meeting all of our things, except for that five animals from Africa that we haven't done yet. But, as usual, um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode and for future videos. This has been Gentleman's Gaming, and I will see you all back here next time. Take care, guys, and have a fantastic rest of your day.